number one at 11. King 5 News starts now. Tonight, friends and volunteers go door to door as they expand their search for a missing SeaTac man. It comes just hours after his car was found, but there's still no sign of him. Nicholas Francisco's car turned up this morning in a Federal Way condo complex. Now his family hopes that the car is going to hold some clues into his disappearance. King 5's Mimi Jung is live in Federal Way. Tell us what happened tonight, Mimi. Well, Lori, the discovery of this car could be a big break in the case. So tonight the focus was at this Federal Way condominium complex where detectives did something unconventional. They called on Francisco's family and friends to help search for clues. Prepare yourself for frustration, prepare yourself for the worst, but also keep an open mind, okay? Tonight, Nicholas Francisco's family and friends turn into detectives, going door to door, searching for answers into his mysterious disappearance. When you've done that building, come back and tell Sandra. They converged on this Federal Way condo complex where Francisco's Toyota Paseo was discovered today, five days after he disappeared. One resident realized that it looked out of place, and then two and two was put together and realized it was the vehicle we're looking for. The 28-year-old father of two was last seen leaving his job in Seattle Wednesday night and was apparently on his way home, but never showed up. We all know Nicholas really well, and we know he didn't leave on his own accord, and that's what's scary. The discovery of his car gives his loved ones hope that he's still alive, but it also adds to the mystery. You want it to be found so you have some place to look, but on the other hand, it's like to have it be found and to have it be found in such an, an area far away from where he lives and out of his path, again, it just kind of reinforces the idea that, you know, what could have happened? The desperate search for Francisco brought out dozens of friends and even strangers. It could be her, it could be me, it could be somebody else, it could be my neighbors. And so being in my backyard, just felt compelled to come out and help search. And tonight, their efforts may have generated a few good leads. Saw a car on Friday, yeah, but gone on Saturday. So that's important. So tomorrow, detectives say they'll be following up on those tips, and they'll also be looking into his car to see if there's any evidence inside that might generate some clues to lead them to him. Reporting live in Federal Way, Mimi Jung, King 5 News. Quite a mystery. Thanks, Mimi. Volunteers vow to keep looking for a Bellingham boy, even though Canadian authorities have officially called off their search. Seven-year-old William Pilkington vanished while walking with his dad along a rocky shoreline in Tofino, British Columbia, Friday morning. It's believed William may have fallen off the rain-slicked rocks and into the water. New tonight, a bizarre mystery in South Seattle where a woman was found bleeding in the street near a bus stop. Happened last night near Beacon Avenue and 119th Street, an area that's already being targeted by a bus stop groper. King 5's Alyssa Hyde joins us live with more on what police have been able to piece together. Melissa. Dennis, the woman was found around 6 o'clock last night near this bus stop behind me. She was lying in the street with serious trauma to her head. At, f at first, police thought it was a hit and run, but then doctors said her injuries didn't seem to come from a car. Police say the 60-year-old woman was getting off a bus here on Beacon Avenue South and 119th when someone may have attacked her from behind. We take this bus all the time, so that's pretty scary. That is very scary. The victim was found lying on the ground, her groceries strewn across the street. She was bleeding from the back of her head. I feel really bad for the lady, but the person themselves should, he or she should feel really bad for themselves. You know, more than less, they should have helped that lady, you know, carry her groceries to wherever she was going. Witnesses heard a vehicle fleeing the scene and fresh skid marks were left behind. He said the vehicle was a dark blue or black four-door Toyota sedan. I think that's a shame for the neighborhood because this is a pretty safe neighborhood. Usually we don't have any problems here at all. The same area has been plagued with a string of attacks, a serial groper targeting Asian women on buses. But police say this recent attack doesn't match the same M.O. The woman was African American and the assault is far more violent. There's a, a daycare here and a bunch of elementary schools around the area and I would hope they get to the bottom of it. It's not clear at this point whether anything was stolen from the victim. If you have any information on this case, you should contact Seattle Police. Reporting live in South Seattle, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News. Thanks, Alyssa. Analog cell phones as well as some home alarm systems and OnStar service 
may stop working tonight at midnight. It's all part of an FCC deadline. Most people don't have analog phones, but 5,000 GM car owners with OnStar Emergency Service and up to a million customers who bought home alarm systems before 2006 could be affected. You still have another year to make the switch from analog television to digital. Passengers who ride Amtrak can soon expect tighter security on trains. Today, Amtrak unveiled a series of new security measures designed to protect against terror attacks. The changes will include random baggage screenings. Armed officers will also patrol trains and platforms with bomb-sniffing dogs. A Snohomish County mom is fighting to change the law after losing her son in a high-speed car chase. This is all that was left of her 17-year-old son's car after he was hit by a semi on Highway 530 in September. Crash investigators believe the teen was driving 90 miles an hour. Corrected, overcorrected, and then when the semi actually hit his side of the door. Now his mom is asking the Department of Transportation to change its policy to allow a permanent memorial sign similar to these drunk driving crashes. Only hers would ask people not to speed. Ferry service is back to full capacity tonight between Seattle and Bremerton. Today, a second car ferry, the Walla Walla, was added to the route. Only one car ferry had been running since the Yakima ran into a breakwater two weeks ago, and a replacement boat developed mechanical problems. Tomorrow, the Washington Transportation Commission meets to talk about adding a toll for people to use the carpool lanes on Highway 167. The commission is looking at a toll anywhere from 50 cents to nine dollars during peak traffic times. The toll would allow drivers to use the HOV lanes between Auburn and Renton. Tonight we know why Seattle rejected a 26 million dollar offer to let the Sonics bail out of their lease at Key Arena. City Attorney Tom Carr says the city still owes more than 30 million dollars in bonds for the Key Arena renovation to help the team in the 1990s. The founder of Save Our Sonics says the offer does not take into account the economic impact of the team leaving two years early. It doesn't do anything to address all the businesses in the area. You know, the up to 5,000 jobs that are impacted by Key Arena and uh, the restaurants and everything around it. We have set up a special blog at king5.com so you can share your thoughts about how much Seattle should demand to let the Sonics out of the Key Arena lease. We're just hours away now from tomorrow's Washington State primary, and it's not just about the presidential candidates. Republicans will use the primary results to allocate half their delegates to the GOP convention. Democrats can vote, but the results will, will not matter since the party already selected its delegates from the caucus. Primary voters still need to decide some 100 school funding measures on local ballots all around Washington State. We'll have complete coverage tomorrow night with the latest primary and levy results on the ticker on the bottom of your screen. And check king5.com for instant updates and a wrap-up on King 5 News at 10 and 11. They're still celebrating in Kosovo, the day after that province declared its independence from Serbia. This was the scene in the streets as the clock struck midnight. President Bush extended formal recognition to Kosovo as a sovereign and independent state. That angered Serbia, which recalled its ambassador from the United States. While one space shuttle is preparing to return home, another is getting ready to launch. Endeavour was rolled out to the launch pad today for a, a March 11th takeoff. Atlantis is currently in orbit and will land on Wednesday. Thursday is now the target date as the U.S. military tries to shoot down a spy satellite that's about to come crashing into Earth. A U.S. warship will fire a missile to knock the satellite and its toxic fuel into the sea. Russia is skeptical, though. It thinks the shoot-down is actually a weapons test intended to move the arms race into space. Canada is considering allowing a brothel to open in Vancouver for the 2010 Olympics. A group of sex workers have won approval to incorporate themselves as a co-op. Although brothels are illegal in Canada, the group is arguing it would be safer for them to open the brothel than to solicit customers on the streets. Controversial new paper service in the JFK assassination. Plus, is there a hidden danger involving hybrid cars? Why some people are worried about the green machines. They made waves in Sports Illustrated's swimsuit issue. Tonight, the woman who designed the Seafair Pirates clothing finally gets a little attention herself. And right here in Seattle, winds are light, temperatures are plunging rapidly. That's not true of every place, and that's going to keep the temperatures much warmer. A look at where that is and the change we're expecting late in the day tomorrow. And when a migraine may be something else entirely, Gene Anderson tells us about a new kind of headache 
that can last for years and what's being done to help ease the pain. The stars are back on The Tonight Show, and tonight Jay's got Reese Witherspoon, plus an interview with the Prez and headlines. English sheepdog with two glass eyes, good guard dog. Really? <laughs> then on Conan, fashion guru Tim Gunn and that darn raccoon. All new tonight. And this week, SNL returns all new, hosted by 30 Rock's Tina Fey on NBC. In a sea of sameness, how do you stand out? Start with a larger, bolder grill. Add 18-inch alloy wheels. Finish with a stainless steel dual exhaust. What's it all add up to? A car guaranteed to stop traffic. A Mercedes-Benz, blending in is never an option. The stylish, powerful E350 sports sedan, starting at 52025 This weekend, Dad says we're camping on the coast. And what Dad says goes. We don't need to check the weather report. We brought our own blue skies with us. Blue tarp camper, you're one of us. And very much like a big blue tarp, we've been giving the Northwest great coverage for nearly 60 years. Chemco, we're a lot like you, a little different. Get ready for the Oscars with these Academy Award-nominated films. Michael Clayton, nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture. I look like I'm negotiating. And Best Actor George Clooney in The Valley of Ella. My son deserves better than this. Nominated for Best Actor Tommy Lee Jones, The Assassination of Jesse James. Nominated for two Academy Awards, including Best Supporting Actor Casey Affleck. He's just a human being. Find them on Blu-ray and DVD. Here's why more people in Western Washington are driving a new Toyota. Unbelievable value. The all-new Toyota Highlander comes with a 270-horsepower V6 engine and a center stow second-row seat. Uncompromised safety. Every Highlander comes with the Star Safety System and total savings. Now get a new 08 Highlander 4x4 with low 2.9 financing. That's why you should be driving a Toyota. See your Western Washington Toyota dealers or visit toyota.com. King 5 News with Lori Matsukawa, Dennis Bounds, Jeff Renner, First Alert Weather, and Paul Silby Sports. Number one in Western Washington, King 5 News at 11. Dramatic video tonight shows the frightening moments right after a collision in California. A school surveillance camera shows a car apparently pulling into the path of a pickup. Then the pickup swerves and rolls, narrowly missing a house. The woman and four children in the truck are going to be okay. Hybrid cars are good for the environment, but are they a hazard for other people on the road? Some people are criticizing the cars for being too quiet, especially at low speeds. Critics say it could allow the cars to sneak up on unsuspecting people walking in parking lots or riding on side streets. Advocates for the blind are asking hybrid manufacturers to make the cars louder. It's a new type of headache that occurs in people who've never had headaches before. Patients can often suffer for years. King 5's Jean Anderson tells us how it impacts the body and what's being done to ease the pain. It felt like I was wearing a football helmet on my head. It was everywhere. For Sue Frizey, it started with a sinus infection. The headache didn't go away. It went all day, all night, all the time. This is her pile of medications well, after this, seeing this nine doctors, and nothing worked. And I got second opinions and, and uh, just tried many things, but nobody had any answers. Until she saw Kirkland neurologist Steve Singer, he handed her an article written by Michigan researcher Dr. Todd Rosen describing new daily persistent headache. It fit me like a glove and I knew I had an actual diagnosis, and I literally was jumping up and down. Most of these patients can pinpoint the day their headache started. It often follows a flu-like illness, tends to occur on both sides of the head, and is highly resistant to treatment. The problem is this new daily persistent headache has an, probably an autoimmune or immunological basis. Sue flew to Ann Arbor, Michigan for inpatient treatment by Dr. Rosen who tried several drugs before one combination finally worked. After two years of suffering, she couldn't believe her headache was finally gone. It's so unusual, and you're afraid to say it because you don't 
you, you think it might come back. Locally, Dr. Singer is now prescribing some of the same medications Sue takes, which include an asthma drug and an antibiotic. He said future treatment might involve drugs now used to treat MS and rheumatoid arthritis. This is pretty uh, experimental, but I'm talking about groups of people that are really going to jump off a bridge if we don't do something. At her worst, Sue has to be put into a coma. Today, she finally has her headaches under control. There is hope out there if you can get to the right doctors. Dr. Singer said several million Americans might have this type of headache, and it can persist for decades. I'm Jean Anderson, King 5 HealthLink. Other serious medical conditions need to be ruled out before patients can get this diagnosis. For more information on the new daily persistent headache, go to king5.com and look under HealthLink. Historians and conspiracy buffs are divided over the documents that supposedly link Lee Harvey Oswald and Jack Ruby. The Dallas County District Attorney went into a courthouse safe and found 15 boxes of documents and evidence collected after President Kennedy's assassination. One item looks like a transcript of a conversation between Kennedy's killer, Lee Harvey Oswald, and Jack Ruby, the man who shot Oswald. But there's no evidence those men ever talked to each other. The papers could be a movie script since a movie contract was also found in the safe, signed by then DA Henry Wade. If Henry Wade was trying to get a movie made that would have made him a rich man, then that may explain a transcript that is pretty explosive, but not very connected to any other evidence that we have. Here's another item that was found. It is the holster that held Jack Ruby's gun before he shot Oswald. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan is expected to be released from a California hospital tomorrow. She fell at her home yesterday in Bel Air. She did not break her hip, and tests show that she's doing fine. A Tennessee woman thanks the firefighter who found her grandson after a deadly tornado. That was the most emotional thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I owe him everything in this world. Brenda Kay and Doug Stoll's baby grandson survived a tornado that killed the young boy's mother. 23-year-old Carrie Stoll and her 11-month-old son, Kyson, took refuge in a bathtub at home when a tornado picked them up and threw them hundreds of feet away. Kyson is okay today. He has a new nickname, too, Tumbleweed. This is King 5 First Alert Weather. Three-day weekend's gone. Oh, but it was gorgeous while mm -hmm. it was here, Jeff. Oh, it was very nice. But you know, out here it's getting cool. Part of the reason we have no wind, you see this little blade of an ornamental grass. I'm moving it, but the wind is not. That's not the case every place. But here, because of the light winds, temperatures, given our location close to the water, are cooling off down to 42 degrees. But you go out to the east side, and you see one effect, and that is temperatures are warm. 50 degrees in North Bend, 49 in Snoqualmie. And if I shuttle around here, we'll see the reason. Some strong downslope winds gusting to 32 miles per hour at Mount Si High School in Snoqualmie. North Bend not far behind that, absolutely. Well, if we move out to SeaTac, we'll see today's high, 56, after a low of 33 degrees this morning. Obviously, no rainfall. That was close to the uh, record, but not quite there. We would have had to hit 62 to do that. Now, the air quality moderate in Snohomish King Pierce, Kitsap, Mason, Thurston, and Jefferson counties up in the mountain passes. Just a few wet spots at Snoqualmie, but obviously with those temperatures, watch for them to possibly form ice. Frost and ice in places at Stevens and at White Passes as well. Now, what's producing those localized winds along the west slopes of the Cascades? We have high pressure east of the Cascades. That's where it's strongest. Low pressure offshore, but approaching us, and as that front gets closer, the winds are going to be strengthening overnight. Now, that is going to be a temporary effect that's going to keep temperatures relatively mild along the foothills. But after that, the clouds start creeping in. Here's what I'm expecting. Overnight lows tonight, those are going to be dropping anywhere from 29 in Arlington to 35 in Friday Harbor and Everett, so not much impact up over the northwest interior. Tomorrow, some areas of fog, possibly even freezing fog, and then increasing clouds. Highs in the upper 40s into the low 50s. Now, central and south sound, here expect overnight lows to vary widely in wind-sheltered places like Olympia, 29 degrees. North Bend, where we showed you those gusts, 40 degrees for a low tonight. Highs tomorrow largely in the low to mid 50s, increasing clouds along the coast. You could see some rain in the afternoon, especially from about ocean shores southward. Now the winds tomorrow as this pattern breaks down, 
fairly light over the Puget Sound area, much stronger through the strait and along the coast. East of the Cascades, a mix of fog, freezing fog, and low clouds, especially in the Columbia Basin, otherwise partly sunny. Now up in the mountain passes, expect to see uh, increasing clouds past temperatures mid to upper 30s. Five-day outlook, mostly cloudy, a few showers Wednesday, increasing showers Thursday, rain at times Friday and Saturday, and off and on much of next week. Our weather picks tonight, a beautiful shot from a snowshoe trail up in Olympic National Park, and that's sent to us by Mike May, who was up there snowshoeing with some friends, and I'd say he picked a beautiful day for it. You did, too. You had a chance to get outside yesterday or today, and tomorrow doesn't look too bad until later in the afternoon. Okay, we're heading out there, then. It looks beautiful again. Thank you, Jeff. It's a fun and eco-friendly way to patrol parking lots. Target stores, including several in western Washington, are using Segway transporters to help detect and deter crime. The electric-powered vehicles allow guards to stand high and move quietly without polluting the air. In a pinch, it can even operate indoors eBay sellers started a boycott today. Hundreds of sellers are refusing to sell or buy anything on eBay for the rest of the week. They're upset over the new higher fees and rules which don't allow sellers to leave negative feedback about buyers. Still ahead, the Zags fend off San Diego on the hardwood, plus the Cougars rise in the college basketball rankings. And there's something different about Mariners closer J.J. Putz. Paul's next with a spring training report in sports, but first Brad Good. As a look ahead, the King 5 Morning News. Millions of people go to work sick every day, and that's not always a good thing. We'll show you how to tell whether your symptoms will cause an epidemic at the office, plus the virtual workout that helps shed pounds in private. That's tomorrow on King 5 Morning News. Prescriptions are expensive, and if you're uninsured, the cost can go sky high. A local company has a new one-of-a-kind program, offering the uninsured some of the lowest drug prices in the nation. Find out how it works tomorrow on King 5 News at 11. The largest team with the most experience using advanced 3D technology to keep you ahead of changing conditions. King 5 First Alert Weather. Weather coverage you can count on. 50 years of innovation, performance, and building dependable cars and trucks have led to this. Nissan's 50th anniversary sales event. See your Nissan dealer now for special 50th anniversary deals on every Nissan. Like $12.50 cash back on Sentra or Altima, just $1.99 a month. Nissan's Big 5-0. This event ends soon. Don't miss it. Patience. It waits with a smile. Confident in the outcome. Patience greets hours and minutes with equal grace. At Sterling Savings Bank, patience is just one element of our signature hometown helpful promise. We'd be happy to discuss the others whenever you're good and ready. Eight strangers. The president has been shot. Eight vantage points. You saw the shooter. I saw something too. One truth. There's something else going on here. What did he see? Go, go! Vantage Point, rated PG-13, opens everywhere Friday. Turn left. Turn right. Turn left. You want a navigation system? That'd be great. You talk, we listen. Get GPS navigation with real-time traffic at no extra charge on Chrysler 300 Signature Series. Now qualified returning Chrysler lessees get a low mileage lease on 300 LX for $199 a month. It's a new day. Chrysler. Tuesday's Mega Millions jackpot is now $220 million. Time for Sports and Paul. Cougar fans very happy. Yeah, we'll see if these guys can just hit stride yeah. at the right time. After sweeping the Oregon schools, the Cougars jump four spots in the AP poll to number 17. They move up one in the coaches' poll to 19. Former Gonzaga star Roni yeah, Turioff watching the Zags in San Diego tonight. Scoring comes at a premium in the first half. Micah Downs to Josh Heitfeld. 
Zags hold San Diego to just 20 in the first half. Downs hits a three just before the buzzer. Zags go up five at halftime. Second half, Gonzaga does just enough. David Pendergraft hits a three ball. Zags now up two in the final minute. Jeremy Pargo with a great pass to Matt Bolden. Gonzaga beats San Diego for a 13th straight time, 59-55. Last week, we learned pitcher Felix Hernandez came into camp in better shape than last season. Felix is not the only one impressing the coaches with his commitment. Lisa Gangle has more. J.J. Putz is coming off the best year of his career. 40 saves, his first all-star selection, and while he could be resting on that success, instead, he has himself in the best shape of his career, whether he'll say so or not. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I, I got nothing. But he does have two-year-old twin girls, and that's really his fitness secret. They kind of look at you, and they know they're not supposed to do something, and then they kind of look at each other, and then they just go and tear up something, so <laughs> it's fun. When he's not running after his toddlers, he's working on his game. I've been in here every day for since pretty much November, and JJ's been here every day, too. He's such a great competitor, and he only knows one speed, and that's full bore. And... Uh, we told him the first day, and we have to remind him almost every day, like, hey, you're going to make the club, so take it easy. Knowing what happened last year with my elbow and everything, I kind of went a little too fast, got a little too amped up early, but we'll just kind of tone it down a little bit. He's still throwing heat, just not as often, and that will help him build on last season's dominating performance. You got to just, you know, stick with what's worked, and, you know, when the phone rings, it's your time to pitch, go out there, get ahead, and uh, make them swinging some bad pitches. Of course, J.J. has that ninth inning locked up, but with the departure of George Sherrill, the eighth inning hole still needs to be filled. Well, word around camp is that early favorite filling that spot would be Brandon Morrow. In Peoria, Lisa Gangle, King 5 Sports. Thank you, Lisa. For more, go to king5.com and click on our new sports blog. You can sound off on the Mariners, Sonics, and Seahawks. It's on king5.com. We'll be down there all week long from Peoria, so it uh, should be interesting to see what we can get uh, come up with. Everyone looks so fit and healthy. I love it. <laughs> yeah, they're optimistic, too. First place this year, baby. <laughs> we'll be right back. Seattle skyscrapers are responsible for this roadside kill. And in search of the most dangerous jobs, you don't want to touch this one with a 10-foot pole. Evening Magazine, tomorrow at 7 on King 5. So intelligent, it knows when to turn rear-wheel drive performance into all-wheel drive control. So intuitive, it's beyond machine. The 306 horsepower G from Infinity. If you needed medical advice, you'd choose a doctor who's a leader in the field. If you needed legal representation, you'd choose an attorney with skill and expertise. If you buy or sell a home, who would you choose? Coldwell Banker Bain has the knowledgeable real estate professionals you need with the online tools you want. And now, cbbain.com is the first local real estate website to offer you video, bringing your search to life. Find the right home and the right real estate agent at cbbain.com. You say yes, I say no, you say stop, I say go, you say goodbye, and I say hello, hello, hello. You don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello, hello, hello. You don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. King 5 News is brought to you in part by Quest. That's our spirit of service. 
A Seattle woman is beaming over her contribution to this year's Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Victoria Glenn didn't make any of the swimsuits. She made the period costume worn by a Seafair pirate standing next to the model on page 186. Lo and behold, there it was, and it was just really exciting to see it in such a, a big deal magazine, to see my work in there and to know that these guys were having such a great time at the photo shoot. The Seafair Pirates just happened to be in the Cayman Islands when they were asked to join the SI photo shoot. When she's not making pirate costumes, Victoria runs a bridal <laughs> shop. Tacoma residents can get into the Point Divine Zoo for free all day Wednesday. The zoo's having a free day as a thank you to Tacoma voters who approved a $35 million bond issue for the zoo in 1999. To get in free, you must have a proof of residency, such as a utility bill or a license with a current address. And before we go, let's check in one more time with Jeff for the weather tomorrow. See if it'll be a good day to go out to the zoo. And the answer yeah. is, for the most part, yes, as a matter of fact. Let's take a look. In the morning, some areas of fog, mostly clear, definitely cool, except along those foothills. Now, around lunchtime, increasing high clouds by late in the day, becoming mostly uh -huh. cloudy. I think the rain will hold off in most places until tomorrow night, possibly it's, late. It's creeping back in the forecast. Yes, it is, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Jeff, and thank you for joining us tonight. King 5 Morning News begins tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't forget king5.com on all the time with the latest news, traffic, and weather and sports. Good night. Tonight. All new. Don't adjust your television. This is a first on the Oprah show. He really is blue. How did this happen? Dr. Oz investigates the man who turned blue. I love that something has you <laughs> off guard. Next Oprah. Tomorrow at 4. It's the Evergreen Sportsman Show, February 21st through the 24th at Evergreen State Fairgrounds in Monroe. Now get 0% financing on a new 08 Camry. Or lease one for just $1.99 a month. See your Western Washington Toyota dealers or visit Toyota.com. Expert control. Authentic capability. The odds your route is decided by whichever way the wind blows. Eight to one. The new Land Rover LR2 HSE. Created for the one. Extraordinarily equipped at 36150. Visit your local Land Rover Center. Remember how your first ride was easy, fast, and fun? It still is. Remember curling up with a good book on the drive home? You still can. On Community Transit, you can rediscover the joy of getting from here to there. Community Transit has served our area for over 30 years with friendly, reliable transportation to work, school, appointments, and shopping. Remember when getting there was half the fun? On Community Transit, it still is. Tell me what you want. At Volvo, we believe life is better lived together. That's why we would never gloat about being the first seven-passenger luxury SUV to win top safety pick from the IIHS. If anything, we wish every vehicle on the road were safe enough to win. The XC90 SUV from Volvo. For a limited time, lease a 2008 Volvo XC90 for $4.59 per month. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Renner, King 5, First Alert Weather, weeknights.